everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today's video I've got for you is a prom makeup. I have asked one of my lovely friends, Christy, if I can borrow her daughter, who is due to go to her prom soon, uh, to do her makeup. So I have the lovely Taylor here with me today. Um, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so to start the prom makeup, I'm going to use a little bit of tinted moisturiser. Taylor's got the most beautiful skin, so I don't want to disrupt it. I just want to make it slightly more even. I'm going to use a Becca. This is Becca Luminous Skin Colour. You can use any other tinted moisturiser, one that's cheaper if you prefer. Um, MAC Face and Body is also beautiful. Right, I'm going to take a Real Techniques brush and just work that into the skin. Try and keep your foundation the same colour as your neck. Try not to go much darker, and I know how much you want to be tanned. Try to keep it the same, and you can add the colour afterwards. When's your prom? 5th of July. 5th of July. And you are going to get a slightly creamy dress, aren't you? Yeah. You think? Do your friends know what colour you're going for or anything? No. Okay, let's hope that they don't see this and then I've given away what your dress will be like. We won't say any more about your dress. What are you going to do with your hair? Have it straight, I think. Are you? Yeah. Have you ever had it set in rollers or anything? No. You look gorgeous too. Now if you're worried about your foundation not matching perfectly, make sure you bring it down onto the neck a little bit. And if you've got your hair up, make sure you do your ears. Just a little bit, so that they blend in and they're the same colour. Right, I'm then going to add a little bit of concealer under the eyes, and I'm going to use MAC Moisture Cover. Now, if you're going to prom, you shouldn't have too bad of bags under your eyes. You uh, shouldn't have too many sleepless nights. At fit, what age are you, 15? Yeah. 15, you should be alright, so I don't want to use a too heavy concealer. Just look right up for me, and moisture cover is really perfect for that, because it's nice and light. However, if you have a blemish, you can use Studio Moisture Finish Concealer if your skin's not as perfect as Taylor's. You may need something a bit heavier. Just look right up for me. I'm going to run a tiny bit of this just around the nose as well. And I'm also going to take a tiny bit just through the brow bone. Now I'm going to come back to the skin right at the end. I'm going to move on to the eyes straight away. I have got a paint pot from MAC, this one's called Bare Studies. I'm using this as a base for the makeup, so I'm going to pop a little bit on my finger. You can use a brush if you prefer. And I'm just going to push it over the eye. And what this is going to do is it's just going to stop the makeup from creasing so, so much, rather than a primer. And that on its own may be enough for some people, but we're going to just go a little bit further. I've got a pigment, this one is called Furore, and it's from Illamasqua. Now, other, loads of other brands do pigments that are reasonably cheap. So yeah, if you want to get hold of a slightly cheaper pigment, you can go to Sleep Makeup, you can go to Stargazer, so they have just a few. And I'm going to just push this over the eye and it's going to give us a lovely shimmer Barry M do some of the best don't they? Oh do they? Yeah. Barry M as well then so super drug really, any super, any yeah. um, boots, super drug, anywhere like that really because I know your dress is going to cost you enough anyway last thing you want to do is go and spend a bomb on makeup as well I've then got another pigment, also from Illamasqua, this one's called Ore, and I'm just going to get a slightly different brush, this is a MAC 239, and I'm going to run this one just along the lash line, 
and slightly pull it upwards and open. So it's giving us a little bit more colour through the lash line. And then using my 217, just make sure that that blends. Lovely. Do excuse the police or whatever it is. This is Norwich, Crime Central of the UK. <laughs> Nothing really happens in Norwich, so. And just open for me. Lovely. I've then got a Makeup Forever uh, diamond powder. This one is got tiny little gold flecks in it. And I'm going to use my MAC 239 just to push that over the eye. So it won't be too noticeable, but when the light catches it, you'll see the glitter. I'm then going to run a little bit of MAC Brun just through the lash line with an angle brush. This is a 266 MAC angle brush. Any dark brown eyeshadow, Bourjois do some fantastic ones. If you just close for me, this is just going to go along the lash line just to emphasise the lashes a little bit. Open for me. Now I don't want to go too heavy with the makeup because Taylor's only 15. She's beautiful anyway. The last thing we want to do is go too heavy with the makeup and make her look not 15 because this is a prom at the end of the day. Just look down into the left for me. Now if you do want something a little bit more, there's loads of videos on our um, YouTube. Maybe try one of the Kim Kardashian ones or something like that. And just goes for me. I'm just going to get some MAC eyelash curlers and just curl the lashes if you look down for me. Now, people, if you're doing other people's makeup, make sure you check. Does that feel okay? Yeah. That it feels comfortable before you start squeezing with lash curlers. Feel comfortable? Yeah. Right, I'm then going to add a little bit of mascara and I have got Ico Skinny Brush Mascara. If you look down for me. I'm going to add a couple of individual lashes, just short ones. So these are Isla individual lashes and I have got some duo lash glue. And I'm only going to use the short ones. I'm going to take a little bit of the glue, pop it on the back of my hand. These are going to feel so much more comfortable but they just make the lashes look a little bit fuller. Pull the lash off. Dip it in the glue really quickly. Can you look down for me? And pop on. I'm probably going to do about four or five either each side. The key to put the individual lashes in on is to get in and get out. So you literally want to pop the glue on, place it into place and then pull away. Don't try and fiddle with them because then you make a mess. says exactly fiddling with it and making a mess. If it doesn't go exactly where you want it, take it off and put it on again. I put one right at the very edge. Can I open for me? Lovely. Do they feel comfortable? Yeah. It doesn't even feel like you've got anything on, does it? Some little boy didn't get his own way for something. Now these are kind of difficult to put on yourself. So if you struggle, ask your mum 
or someone to help you. And helpers, I promise you, it's not as hard as it looks. Now on the brows, I am going to use a tiny bit of Omega eyeshadow, but just through the back of the brow. I don't want the brows to look drawn on, but I just want to run a tiny bit of an extension through the back. And to get a little bit of shape. Pluck your brows. No, I can wax. Oh, they look beautiful. They're a really good shape. Thank you. I'm just running whatever's left on the brush through the front of the brow. And then I am going to get a little bit of Illamasqua brow gel. This is brilliant because it makes the brows not move. And I'm just going to brush them upwards. Gorgeous. Right, I have got sleek makeup powder. This one is luminous powder. I'm just going to powder the skin down. Not too much. I'm then going to take a little bit of MAC Harmony blusher and I'm going to apply that through the cheekbones a little tiny amount just to give a little bit of cheekbone. Right, on the apples of the cheeks, I'm going to take another sleep makeup product. This one is the blush in rose gold. And this is going to go just on the apples of the cheeks. Work up slightly. So it gives a really lovely soft blush through the cheek. Okay, then for the lip, I have got number seven uh, lip Perfect, perfect lip pencil in 20 nude. This is going to colour the whole lip. I'm then going to go over the top of that with Honey Love lipstick from MAC, which is kind of a nudie colour. And then I'm going to use a YSL lip gloss in Golden Gloss. This is probably a little bit more expensive, but it's so beautiful that I had to use it. It's gorgeous. It's got slight gold flecks in it, so it really complements the eye colour. We're going to add a little bit of colour underneath the eye, so I'm going to go in with Ferrara again. And then I'm going to go in with the darker one that we used as well, so the slightly darker pigment is just going to go on the outer corner. Can you just look that up for me? So it's going to add a little bit of depth halfway along the eye. And then with my angle brush, I'm going to add the liner that we used on top, Brun. If you look right up for me, really softly to the outer corner. Lovely. 
beautiful. Let's have a little look in the mirror. I think that's enough to um, say it's done. I don't think we need any more because Tell is really beautiful anyway, and I don't want to take it away uh, by putting tons of makeup on her. I think it would be way too much makeup. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic time at your prom. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. Bye bye.